Lazy Bird, welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. Today, we are back with a whole new update. As you can see, a new merchant has already been added, the Enchant Smith. You can swap out your enchantments at the Enchant Smith. Look for the new merchant icon on the map to find where you'll need to rescue them. Once they're rescued, the Enchant Smith will join your camp. That is so cool. So if there's a whole new update added to the game. I don't know if it's gonna show too much of it here, but there's a whole new season, season three, Fauna Fair, and there should be a new level to check out as well. But seasons change to Fauna Fair. Any adventure points earned will go towards ranking up in the current season. So that's pretty cool. We'll try our best to get through that one a little bit in today's episode. But as you can see, you get things like, you know, the adventure pass, a uh, little pig here is so cute. And there's plenty of other animals being added throughout this one, as well as different taunts and other little flares, things like that. But let's take a look at what's going on here. Apparently there is a friend to save somewhere, but I just don't know entirely where they would be. Uh, and I think there's a whole new level added, so I might just try to look around and see what new stuff pops up. So first off, there's a couple of things. There should be right here in High Block Claws. This is where we can rescue the merchant, as you can see this little merchant stall next to the level. But I think in the Island Realms, there should be a brand new level here that we've yet to tackle because this was just added. It is the treetop tangle. So we'll be checking this out maybe later today. It really depends on how long everything takes. So first off, we will go to the mainland. We'll take on high block claws and see if we can't save this merchant. I think this is the level we've played before, but uh, we're going into it again and we'll try to save this merchant. Ooh, so this place is so cool. You've made it to the abhorrent abode of the arch Illager. High Block Castle. The halls are crawling with soldiers and sorcerers, so keep your blade at the ready and your wits about you. Find the Grand Throne and confront the Arch Imager. So obviously this is a level we've tackled before, but you can't just, you know, miss out on experiencing those very cool cutscenes. So we are at the Arch Illager's throne room, our current build, items and distortion chest, your inventory is full. The item recently acquired. Oh, okay, I did not realize. Oh my gosh, we are really full. I was not expecting that. Um, I could recycle something like the broken saw blade. I don't need this. And uh, the void touch blades. I don't need these either. Uh, I'll keep, of course, anything like this, so. Hmm. Yeah, what happened? I don't know why I dumped all this stuff in my inventory, but that's okay. I, I think we'll be fine with our current setup. We'll end up seeing. I didn't really look at the power or anything. I just wanted to jump into the level. So I think we're just, you know, at a spot where we can handle everything pretty well. I'm mostly just focused on just trying to find the, uh, what is it called? Whoa, ooh, that hurt quick. Luckily I used my potion there, but that was a little scary. Uh, I am mostly looking for, oh boy. That merchant. Hopefully it doesn't take too much work to find them, but we'll just look over the level regardless and we'll see what we can find. It is sort of nice to go down memory lane though and explore one of the levels, you know, we've we've seen previously like this. Got it. And what's down this way? Anything interesting? Not really. But for this map, we do have three secrets and three chests to find as it currently stands. More stuff might spawn in later. That's what we have to be on the lookout for for now. Finding a couple lightning arrows, trying to make the most of those. But these guys definitely do hit hard. Gotta use the glaive here to keep my distance, but still land some melee damage. But this is still one of my favorite setups, so I don't mind using using it and making the most of it. Oh, let's get the strength potion. That'll be good. And we're up here. So, so far we're making quick work of this. We're just sort of consistently moving through. And I'm excited to check out the new level, no matter what. It is just so cool that they're still adding content to this game. I wasn't expecting another, you know, little release of stuff so soon. Got it. Especially with the uh, new Minecraft Legends coming out soon. I mean, I guess soon, coming out next year. But uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I figured they'd maybe be a little bit more focused on that, that they wouldn't release anything for Dungeon for a while. But you know, we get a whole new season. We get one extra level. I think Towers has multiplayer now, which is a pretty cool addition. I don't know if I'll go into that too much, but it is still cool to see. I definitely want to do more tower stuff. Just probably single player is all. Oh boy. There's a lot of guys. There's a lot of guys up here. So I'll do what I can to slice them away. Get that strength potion too. There you go. And we're back to having a potion again. So let's go and grab this mace. We'll definitely want to get as many emeralds as we can muster, especially if there's going to be a whole new merchant to send, spend them at. Ooh, and there's a chest over here that has a soul robe. 
Those are always good to have. So I think we gotta go back up the way we came. Try it this way. Oh boy, here they come. Trying to dodge that stuff. What about down here? That guy was running away from me. Okay, I used my potion at the last possible moment. There was a little section down that way I missed, so let's go check that out. We're closing in level 78, which is cool. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, got it. And I don't see too much more over here. Okay. But we're eliminating all the possibilities. So far we've gone down every side path, so we should just be set up to keep going down this way without having to worry about missing anything. And not too much so far. Wherever this merchant could be, maybe it's just gonna be at the end of the level. Uh-oh. Where are they? Here they are. Oh, it's it's you again, huh? Okay, <laughs> let's go for it then. I think we can handle whatever he throws at us. Ooh. There we go. So far it's pretty slow going. A lot of these guys we can take out in one hit though, which is nice. I'm trying to make the most of that. The bigger guys, not as much, but... Oh no, oh no, you know, it's time for the lightning arrows. There we go. It's never fun when you get trapped between them. Just trying to save the lightning arrows for when they're actually bundled up. They're coming at us from two sides, so it doesn't happen a lot. Got it. I need that strength potion, and now they're all bundled. That's when we use the lightning arrows. Here we go, just like that. We still have two more of them. That wasn't bad. Back over here. We still have a lot of arrows. We're at 176 of them. I might want to use my potion soon. They are getting a little low. But I think this might be the last of them. Never mind. There's more. Oh, and they're getting tougher than ever. Got all the shields and everything, so I'll have to bust those. Oh, they're getting me pretty good with that, actually. I guess we just use our arrows and keep our distance. Come on, that's gotta be it, finally. But there's more waiting for us. Definitely get rid of the enchanters right away. I'll go this way instead, just to start things off. Cause it looks like we loop around anyways. Okay, get the lightning arrows. Gotcha. I'm just trying to sort of chill until, there we go, we actually get our health back up, like this. We're over 3,000 emeralds now, which is pretty good. So yeah, this new merchant is the enchanter or something. So I guess we can change the enchantments, which can always be appreciated. Because sometimes we'll have a really good weapon, but the available enchantments aren't that good. So being able to re-roll those would be huge. Sometimes you can strip a weapon of enchantment points, but you can't change the enchantments themselves. So being able to do that will truly be able to allow us to um, maximize our weapons that we get. And our gear too, just all the gear in general. And what do we have over here? Just another pot. Okay, so back over this way. Got it. That was pretty nice. And we're through. So I'll definitely have to grab the season three battle pass, I think, later in today's episode too. Just make the most of everything, I suppose. Ooh, so it looks like things might get complicated as we're headed outside. I do remember this, the merchant, if he's gonna be anywhere, I, I, I'd imagine they'd be here, right? Because there's just merchant stalls everywhere. Let's find out. Lots of uh, mobs out this way. We'll grab that shadow burn to hit you with a big critical. I'm not seeing anything out of the ordinary just yet, but never know. Up this way. And there was a whole secret path to this one, but there's the key for it, but we'll save it for now, I think. Okay, I picked the key by mistake, but we dropped it again. Oh no. Careful. Let's knock out whoever we can with the, the uh... Yeah, I remember this. That did something. Hey, you put that down. That's not for you. There's a bunch we can do here. First grab those, 
and then this whole secret area. I remember this. I don't know if this is gonna do anything for us right now, because this opens up the, uh, yeah, the one secret for the, uh, the big thing that we've already done. So we're not gonna worry about that. Instead, though, with all these enemies bundled up, I think it's a great time for the lightning arrows. I know we dropped our friend again. Gotcha. And these guys over here. Oh, I think we passed it. Yeah, right here. Well, for you. Hey, buddy. Merchant and Lofty Enchantsmith. So I guess we don't have to worry about most of this other stuff. We'll go and get a key. And we could take the dungeon down, but I think it might just be faster to get the key now. Or not the dungeon, but the well. It's like a well to hop into. Hey, you drop that. It's all mine. Because right now my focus is just to complete this level as fast as possible. I know that typically with these kind of things you can just quit the level once you find it, but I don't want to risk it. And you know what? We might as well just see what other rewards we can get from doing all this, you know? So I might sort of try to zoom through it. I might not defeat like every enemy and try to find every secret, but we do get strike mobs with lightning, so that's gonna be a rank up already to level three in this season. So that's great. And those are the kind of things we need to look out for as we're progressing through this season. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to ruin dinner here. And that should open up a secret again. I remember this level, this is a lot of fun. Unfortunately, you can't destroy them just with arrows or anything, so. The Faye is destroyed, going up here. Got it. That's looking pretty good. Right over here, here's another group of them. Reach the throne room. Oh gosh, they are super enchanted over there, so you need to be really careful because enchanted royal guards are very scary. But we got them, at least some of them. There's some more over this way. Got it. I think it's worth it to go out of the way to defeat chain enchanted enemies because I don't know if they have better loot, but they definitely have the chance to give us progress through some kind of battle pass things. Wow, okay, there's so many enemies. That seems well worth it. There we go. Lightning arrows definitely being super useful. Okay, I can do it this way. And usually, I'm so diligent with uh, cleaning out every enemy, right, that this feels like I'm doing something wrong. I'll use my potion really quickly. I almost have my lightning arrows back, so if I could just be safe for a moment, then this doesn't feel very safe. Ah! I might be in trouble. We'll see, this guy is marching over. Oh, run away. Got it, one more. Got it. And every time we defeat somebody, it is a little bit closer to our next potion, so. Uh, it's mostly the guys with the arrows I'm afraid of. Okay, got it. Tossing that over. I almost have my potion. I just need to play it a little bit more safe. There it is. Okay, now I don't have to be as worried. I can go back through again. Almost there, almost there. Ooh, there's a chest waiting for us over that way, but I don't know if I have access to it. I need to hit a button somewhere. Or maybe I can just roll to it, I forgot. <laughs> Whoa, we do get the auto crossbow. That's cool, but it was a trap. Oh no. This is where we use our lightning arrows, and quickly, 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 because they're going crazy on us. Just a little bit more, just a little bit more. There we go, that was wild. Glad we got a really cool, uh, unique out of it though. Okay, let's use our potion now. And while they're chasing us, I'm just gonna go up here. Oh no, uh, maybe a mistake, because they are all over me. Come on, come on, oh no, I'm in trouble. Lightning arrows, here it is, get that apple. Ooh, that changed it all up, majorly. That was great. I'm playing things risky right now, but it's fun. Uh oh, we got more enchanted people. Oh my gosh. Gotcha. Oh, let me get that level up. That's great, I didn't even notice we were that close. So, we're level 78 now. There's another point for us too, so. Let's see what else is going on. Confront the arch -illager. Right up here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's just gonna spawn in a bunch of bad guys for us to fight, so. Defeat the guards. 
but hey, this is good experience, so. And it's been a while since we've experienced this level too, so I don't mind. Got it. Oh no, here they come. Oh, I see you over here, I need to deal with that, but I can't, you guys are just too much bullies. I thought I could maybe just roll my way through that, but not really gonna work that way. I might just have to fight through them. I'm trying to deal with the guy, there we go. We just shot across, even though I didn't have a good sight on them. That was nice. Over here, same deal. I think this is the last of them, unless more will spawn in after. I guess we'll see. More will spawn in after. All right. We're gonna toss it over there for those guys to deal with or fighting the rest of these guys. Seemed like it worked out pretty well. We still have you know, hundreds of arrows here, so if I just need to use ranged to my advantage, so be it. Sometimes it's just for the better. We get a soul robe and more enemies to deal with. Got it. A few more over here, and then I think you're the last one. There we go. And now we deal with this. One more lightning arrow. Ooh. Okay, they are all the big guys right now. Got it. Ooh, swiftness potion's always nice. And then you guys over here, you're done for. Got it. Is that it? There's still more, it never ends. Oh my gosh. Definitely get rid of the fire guys as soon as I can, but arrows don't do too much damage to these enemies. I just need my lightning arrows, I almost have them. There we go. Now we can work through this super quick. Back up here, a couple more waiting for us. Got it. Where are you at? There it is. And it's still not enough. Throw that TNT right there. That's gonna be pretty huge, actually. Yeah, it hits a good chunk of them. I don't know how much damage it actually did, not much, but any little bit counts against these guys. Oh my goodness. This is a lot of work. But it's paying off, we're getting experience for it, so. Now it's you guys I gotta worry about. Jeez. Is there any more over here? Of course there is. Is that it? It's finally it, we need to go pursue the Arch Illager, but that'll be a level we've already played, so. Not really too worried about it. We're just going to go right through here. Arch Illager escaped to the ramparts. Mm -hmm. Press on, hero. You mustn't let him get away. All right. Well, we already did all that. That's that's history said and done, you know. But I'm glad we got this done. We can go check out the Enchanter now, which is the most exciting thing. So, we'll open up this chest. I think this is guaranteed something we've already seen. The Death ca Cap Mushroom. Yep. Yeah. So let's see where it is. Yeah, right over here. Well, this is the Blacksmith. Oh, I guess our upgrade slots are good for this. Let's collect that. The Battle Staff of Terror. Very cool. I'll look into upgrading some of the stuff soon, but for right now, let's see where this new merchant is. Right down this way, the Enchant Smith. Whoa. So with this one, the Enchant Smith replaces an enchantment of your choice with a random one. The cost increases each time. Instantly returns all investment enchantment points on this item. So that's really, really cool. So I'll have to sit down and really try to balance out what we have. I think for right now, I might want to recycle some things, at least the things we're not using. Things like the ax or like the basic weapons. Those are the things I need to figure out really quickly. So if we take a look at something like our battle, ta battle staff of terror, if we switch this over, you can see it's at 65 damage right now, so that's pretty good. And then, you know, it does okay with this swinging motion. Um, but if we take a look over here, we have um, the pain cycle, attack strains your life to grant one stack of pain cycle. So we're draining our own health for extra damage or weakening your attacks to increase the attack damage of all nearby enemies for five seconds. Both of these are fine, but they're not like amazing. So we could do something like that. We do have things like the shockwave um, and the radiance has a 20% chance to spawn in a circular that heals you and your allies. You know, just different things like this. I don't know if any of these really sound that good or the weapon itself, the base weapon is really super worthwhile. That's why I like things like the Grave Bean. You know, it has the double sharpness, but it also has refreshment. Defeating a mob reduces your health potions cooldown time. Could we get something better here is the thing? I'm not quite sure. Like That actually seems like a great setup, but could we get like a third one with this? I'm not sure. Hmm. So I'm just trying to look through what we have and what is a weapon good enough to actually like warrant doing more stuff with it, because this one you know, already has, like it's the lightning heart crossbow, so we have void 
strike attacking a target applies a damage multiplier that raises steadily to a max level then is removed like that already sounds amazing so i'm just trying to see we have life boost each time you respawn your maximum health increases and the lightning damage you deals increase. We want to keep that one because of our current build, but maybe I could change life boost up a little bit, or maybe I could just look at a weapon we don't really use too much, like this Hunter Promise, Call of the Void. Um, wasn't there some other weapons I really like that I might still have back in the stash? Sorry, I'm taking my time here. I just really want to make sure that whatever we upgrade is well worth it. Okay, let's try the beginning and the end because they have Shockwave, which, I feel like it's fine, but isn't like the most amazing thing. So we go to the enchant smith. We have these right here. I want to select this enchantment and redo it. Modify enchantment for 160 gold bars. Oh, okay, I don't even have enough. So interesting, it requires gold bars. I figured it would require emeralds. So for this, we'll have to go to the tower to improve some things. Good to know. And I'm guessing different enchantments will cost different amounts, or maybe it'll all be the same. Does it matter if it's maybe not a, uh, unique if we were to get a non-unique item, would they be cheaper? Let's see. But it's good to know this now, so that we, you know, we can adjust moving forward. So like down this way we have, where was it? This this is not a unique, I don't even know why that's in there. Um, Hold on, just bring that over. Would that also be 160 is the question. Would it even give me the chance to? Yeah, so these are 140, so they are a bit cheaper, but I don't know, right now I can't really afford that at all, so I don't think it's worth worrying about too much, but I will want to go check out the brand new stuff, so we'll work on that in just a moment. I just wanted to see what else we have available. Because right now our current setup, everything's maxed out all the way. It'd be cool if there was a way to get him to add more stuff. I didn't mean to open this thing. <laughs> if he could with my current weapon, or just any of them, can he add another one? It doesn't look like it. That's sort of a shame. That'd be really cool if we get, could get something like that to happen. But for right now, it's not too big of a deal. So like I said, there's still two more things we wanna check out in today's episode. The first thing is going to be a brand new level, the uh, treetop tangle. But on top of that, we also have the adventure hub over here with our new season, whenever it's connected. I wanna go ahead and purchase that new season so that we can take a deeper look at it. Okay, so the adventure pass has been purchased. That's great. So we can go ahead and start claiming some rewards here. So we can claim our emeralds, Oh, and I look at, it looks like we actually do get some gold here. That's always nice. So I'll get my 10 gold. Did this not one, one not work? I guess it's still claiming. And we also got this Howl Taunt. Very cool. For all that's claiming, it looks like we already get our baby piebald pig, our pig onesie costume, and oh, the petting emote. So let me go ahead and get that uh, little guy equipped then, if I can manage. Right down here, the baby piebald, piebald? I don't know how to pronounce it. Piebald pig. Right there, looking amazing. So, really cool stuff there. Let's go ahead and tackle our brand new level in just a moment, but I did wanna see, is there anything like super cool here? We of course have uh, other stuff. But most of it, you know, is pretty typical. We just have like, you know, these kind of things whenever we eat food and stuff. It, it's a little glitchy right now, I guess, but it's different costumes and things. They never get too crazy with these. It's just basically pets, costumes, and little effects. But I love that one, the hedgehog. <laughs> we'll hopefully be able to get there one day. But for right now, Treetop Tangle is our main mission. Um, let's take a look here. The treasure above. Remnants of the orb corruption linger in the jungle. The ruins of an ancient temple carried high above by the corrupted wildlife. What treasure might be found at the top of this colossal tree? I guess we'll find out. Seems like a pretty intense uh, level. So we are at a power of 61. So that would be too high, I guess. This is normal difficulty for it though. So we'll try this. It looks like we might even get an unknown artifact and there's some new gear. Let's hope we run into it. Okay, so find the corrupted tree. Where are we starting? Where are we going? So there's not too much over here. Oh no, no, I'm spiraling up. I got it, cool. So. It's just like last level, we'll just be slicing or di and dicing our way through with the glaive and stuff, trying to find secrets along the way. Oh boy. And oh, we got jungle spiders attacking us right away. I'll definitely have to deal with them. Oh, and there's a lot more too. They are not messing around. Here comes some more. Luckily, not too difficult to beat, and we're getting some potions for it, so. Yeah, we got some emeralds out of that. I'll definitely have to spend more emeralds later, but boom, surprised you. Yeah. I'm gonna get some slimes. It's been a while since we've been running the slimes, I feel like. Oh, let's definitely roll over here. This is a cool level so far. I wasn't expecting just all these mobs and stuff. 
Whoa, that was great. And I don't know if I could get over here if there is anything, maybe a secret? Nope, there's nothing. Okay, back over here then. The poison zombies are new. I don't think we've seen those enemies at all. They just sort of look stinky. Okay, defeat the ruins. I'll try my best. Whoa, right over here, huh? Yeah, so I can't quite reach them because I'm all covered in web. I think I gotta stand in this thing until the, the it's happy with me. There it goes. Oh, no, no, no. That's just it throwing more stuff at me. This stuff is definitely poisonous. Oh, I gotta be careful the creepers. I'll stand right back into it. I just gotta be careful for when it starts ah, doing that. Oh, we got the vine creatures again, too. Come on, is this doing anything? Are we making progress? I would hope so. Let's let's avoid that. It doesn't seem so good. Yeah, get rid of you as soon as possible. Ow, potion time. And there we go. We finally made our way through with that. Before we worry about too much more, I have a potion and some food to grab. And there's so many pots around here with emeralds just waiting to be grabbed, so. Definitely going to take my opportunities there. Okay then, so back over here, another pot, and then we gotta climb the corrupted tree. Whoa, look at this place. I see some extra stuff to grab here. Don't wanna miss that opportunity either. So far, this area is cool. It's just fun because this level's actually totally free. It's not a part of the battle pass, so you can actually just go and play this right now. So it's always fun when they add free content like that to the game. Because Minecraft, du Minecraft Dungeons has become such a bigger game than when it first released, you know? It was already a pretty big and fun game at that point, but with all the new content they've added, it's twice as big now. There's so many more levels to play through, so many more things to get, it's great. Okay, so we're just gonna rush through all this as much as we can. I think we're good. Ooh, here we go. Hmm. Orbs corruption, that was what we're focused on for right now. Oh no, oh no, what do we got this time? Oh, can I get that creeper? I can, just right through the wall. The creepers can be scary because if they do explode, they take a huge chunk off of our health. But luckily with the glaive, I can usually keep them far away, but we're also attacking fast enough that they don't explode in that time. Okay, here's where we maybe pull out the lightning arrows because there's a lot of them. Oh, that got me. Darn. We have two creepers exploded on us at once. I'm pretty sure that'd be our entire health bar gone. Shows you really how much damage they do. All right, we'll get through this as much as we can. Your swiftness potion's always nice. All right, got it. But like I was saying before, I'm really happy to see a season three and still more updates to this game. I honestly expect season two to be the last one. But it seems like, you know, this game still has more stuff going on. What do we have through here? Uh, oh, just a chest to find. That's great, we get some ocelot armor. And it looks like that's one out of eight secrets found. So we still have a lot more going on in this level. So we'll go through this one. Oh, good to keep going. Yeah, that's where we just were, right down there. Oh, let's definitely get that pig. There we go. We get the TNT, we get the, the whip. Which is a weapon we've seen a couple of times. Haven't used it a ton though. Ooh, that person went flying. Uh oh, what's that noise? The Enderman, uh oh. Come on, blast him. He's over here. Use my arrows as much as possible. I do see the swiftness potion, hey! Out of the way. That is not good. Come on, a little bit more. Almost got it, there it is. And I think that's the way we're supposed to go. So before we do that, there's an entire other branching path, but we're just on this giant tree branch right now. This is so cool. Putting Enderman and stuff up here. What a cool adventure. Let's back it up. And it looks like we're doing pretty well. Oh no. Oh gosh. There is a enchanted skeleton. There's a big bundle of them actually. Whoa, use that potion. Can I get them? Yes I can. So that was great actually. 
And what do we have up here? Anything cool? I see this like big creeper totem. Whoa! Whoa, is it gonna explode? It's gonna spawn in some creepers. That was so cool. Whoa, watch it. So far we're getting them, but there's a lot more spawning in. Trying to save, ah, my roll for when that happens, but they spawned in all around me at the same exact time. I need to use these arrows right now. Oh, that was close, but whoa, we get the black spot armor. That was crazy. Wow, okay, we'll have to take a closer look at that once we're done the level, but awesome to get a unique out of that. Very, very cool. So I think that's a new one. That might be the one um, item we were missing out of the sort of the list for this level, so that's great that we found it. Now we're just hoping that we also find the artifact along the way. Anything cool up here? There is one little pot with more emeralds. We're closing in on 4,000 of them now. Okay, so back this way. We gotta go back the way we came in from, which can be a little tricky. It's easy to get lost, but we have the marker to guide us. Okay. It would be nice if occasionally they added more free levels like this to the other DLC areas though, because this one was for the, uh, the jungle DLC. Uh-oh, here we go again. Fight through the ruins. I'm trying my best, I'm getting bombarded immediately. I need to get rid of the vine guy. Right over here, this flower. Oh, there is a chest over that way waiting for us, if we can survive all this. Got it. Oh no, here comes some more though. I'll grab this crossbow, the exploding crossbow. We've gotten that before, but always good to get another, I suppose. There's more coming in. I'm trying to save my lightning arrows for when it gets super overwhelming, but it seems like it was good. Whoa, big guy, gotcha. That was actually really easy. We got it pretty well, but this still is not opening, so maybe there's a, oh yeah, the button's up there. That shouldn't be too bad, we just rush over, break that open, and that didn't do it. Okay, oh, there's a second button, aha, and a third one. I got so excited about the first button I saw, I didn't even notice the rest of them. So there's three buttons pressed, but still not enough. There's gotta be more around here. Oh yeah, were these here the whole time, and I just didn't see them? I guess so. What do we have in this one then? It is going to be another whip, and a nice bundle of emeralds. Not the most exciting weapon, because we already got that earlier in this level, but at least it's extra emeralds and stuff. Okay, I'll just strike through you a little bit. You see an ocelot running around down there, that's pretty cool. And I, can I get over here? Oh, not from here. That looked the same level, but it was actually higher up. A little statue, oh it's a little parrot statue, that's cute. That's the way we're supposed to be going though. So there's another extra path up here. Could we find another huge like creeper totem? Maybe a cave spider totem, that'd be cool. Okay, we'll grab that. I'm gonna try to fight you off. There is a way to get to that chest just from over the side. Definitely worth it to clear these guys out. It's not too much on this branch comparatively, but it's still some extra things to find. Just a normal chest here. That gives me an arrow bundle and yet another whip. So now we're headed back here. We gotta go all the way down. Lots to get through here, for sure. So this definitely seems to be a longer level. Oh no, ooh, got them. Whoa, we got some enchanted creepers? I don't wanna deal with that. Okay, run, run, run. And then slice him again, dodge out of the way. Got it. Ooh, that gave us a bow. Always good. And explore the uprooted village. Whoa, see so yeah, inside those little buttons to press. Don't mind if I do. So grab, I'll grab that now and then just try to start fighting. So it looks like we'll be coming back. This is so crazy. There's a whole village up here. Never would have expected that. Press that one. We get just root rot armor. Interesting. 
So I guess that's sort of the base version of the enchanted, not enchanted, the unique armor that we got. So cool. Okay, how are we getting up to that? I think we just, yeah, go up here, press the button. So that's three out of five of them pressed already. There's another little parrot statue. Here's our fourth one, right next to the other. And the fifth one. Okay, well they were all pretty close to each other. Climb higher. I would love to, but I might have to backtrack a little bit. No, this seems like a dead end. Okay. So I'll grab these extra pots, and then we turn back. I could maybe get up here, but there's not much anyways. Okay, so all the way back from where we came, and we should be able to go through, there was like a bamboo, bamboo gate, I think is lowered now. Yeah, right over here. A lot of enemies waiting for us, so, and the TNT. I might wanna save it for where I can actually throw it and not just toss it up the side. There's nothing up here. How are we doing with secrets? We're still only one out of eight? That's crazy. I feel like I've been pretty diligent, but maybe not. I mean, there's so many plenty of this level left, who knows? I'm just gonna grab what I can. Got it. And I'll just toss that down there. I think that seems like a good spot. Oh, it definitely was. We hit quite a few. Have my lightning arrows ready for if we need them. There we go. Oh, no, no, I didn't mean to hit the ocelot, I'm sorry. Oh, but I can hop down here and get another chest. That is definitely a secret, right? Yep, two out of eight, so. Let's clear out this area a good chunk. And I guess with that, we'll wrap up for the segment. Oh, what's down here? Oh, this is neat. This is like its own secret area, cool. Uh oh, they're not happy that I'm here though. So let's grab what we can and start fighting off some more creepers. It's always creepers, huh? Oh no, it's not always creepers. We got some zombies too. Oh no, I gotta be ready for whenever they spawn on me like that, it could end up being a big group of creepers like this. Ah oh, darn, the moment I use that potion too. Come on, get them, got it. They're rushing in on us. I do have a TNT now that I can use if things get really rough, but might save for the time being. We get ourselves another rot root armor. That was pretty cool. So that was a fun little side thing, but still not technically a secret. I use my potion now so it starts restoring. Got more enemies waiting for us too. Which the more enemies I attack with this glaive, the more health potion we get. No, I was just trying to click so I go forward. Oh, throw that, ah, oh, that is not where I wanted it. Okay, it's fine. I get another one. There's just so many enemies everywhere. And I cannot move. Got it. We're fine now. And then lots of stuff. Definitely just try to deal with them. Unfortunately, none of them were around by the time I threw it. What is up here, though? More enemies to defeat for sure. Got it. Whoa, look at the pandas. Hi, pandas. They're waving at us, so cute. Okay, and I think we're good to go back. These vines just sort of pop up everywhere. We're definitely making it to something like here, the gurgle of a zombie. Not anymore. But there's still more on this side, so I wanna check this out. I'm stuck again. There we go, see ya. <laughs> that was silly. There's gotta be something cool over here, right? Another creeper totem. I might have wanted to defeat these guys first. We might be in trouble here as plenty more creepers are spawning in. Ah, ah, darn. This is where we use lightning arrows. Got an apple there. I need to save that for when I need it. Especially for those times I don't have my health potion available, which is right now. Got it. So there's another chest with an exploding crossbow again. And anything cool to grab? Another hidden chest with more ocelot armor. We're at three out of eight for secrets and eight out of 10 for chests. Hey, wait, didn't see you. Let's get back to it. 
So we're still trying to climb higher up this tree. So we're not at the tippity top of it, which, which is crazy to me. Oh no, what is that? Get past the web. And I guess just break those things? One out of three. I don't know what those are supposed to be though. But I'm sure there's plenty of them around, so there it is. I think it's supposed to be like an egg sack. Creepy. Uh-oh, uh-oh, that was a trap, and there's not much room in here. I'll have to be ready for this. What's gonna be? Hopefully not more creepers. Um, nope, it's gonna be the little cave spiders, which honestly, I can handle no problem. If we get into a really big spot, okay, there is a creeper. I swear that I clicked in there. Huh. Oh, that wasn't too bad at all. Now we can get up here and just zoom around. We're back where we came from. Well, did we come in from this one? No, we came in from that one. So, I mean, that seems like everything. I could go up here though, looking for the last little egg sack thing, which is right here. And that lowers this so we can keep climbing. Now I'm really curious, what was this door about? Come on, yeah, let's go through like that. Uh, Traverse the canopy. Whoa, Enderman, scary. Come on, blast him. Where are you gonna go now? Right there. That wasn't so bad. Come on, just a little bit more and we got you. Got it, that was cool. Another whip, another ocelot armor. <laughs> and we get ranked up for our season three. Okay, that's all I could do here, but quite the battle. Now we can get up to the proper spot on it and explore the canopy. Jeez, that was crazy. Just dumping an enderman on us like that. I guess you can never truly expect them. Here we go, we got these poison skeletons. Gonna toss it over there, but the creeper sneaking up on me. My least expected, and we died, uh-oh. I mean, that's our first death this level, but that was pretty rough. We definitely just go lightning arrows on them immediately. You can see how quickly that clears them out, so I probably should just save those for those kind of situations whenever we can. We do get TNT, I'll toss that over there. And I guess I could have jumped down to there from up here if I had missed it, but luckily we didn't. Okay, that's everything around the side. So now, more skeletons running around. Gotta deal with these guys. This is the way I'm supposed to go though. So first things first, what kind of cool things can we find over here? Zombies. More root rod armor, creepers removing all my health. Jeez, there's a lot going on. It's a lot of green on top of green, so honestly, it's a bit difficult to see what's going on. Gotta take things slow and really focus, but there's another chest giving us even more rewards. This place is huge, actually. Okay. And it wants me to go, yeah, down that way. So whatever we're gonna find up here, it's gonna be pretty extensive, right? Hopefully some good rewards and I might just keep running for now until we get more stuff spawned in. Get that potion. I should be able to run across to here. And then we'll double back and clear up all the enemies that are spawning in. That might be the smartest way to do it. So what can we find up here? Uh oh, a battle is waiting for us, I, I think. Oh no, it's gonna be another Enderman? Or something worse this time. So far, it's not anything besides creepers, so we can handle that. Some more stuff. This guy's a bit tougher. Trying to save my last lightning arrow for when I need it, but I should probably just use it. That way I can just save up for another whole bundle. Probably smarter. I don't know, but now the creeper's coming right as I do that. We're almost at level 79 too, that would be fantastic right about now. And there we go, we got quite a nice treasure chest, some hunter's armor, another TNT. I'll take it. So now that we're heading back over, I would hope that those enemies that spawned in are just waiting for us. We can just fight them. I do hear a couple of them, and I do see you. Unfortunately, as per usual, I mess up my TNT. There you guys are. Oh, there's a lot of these fine guys. Not the biggest fan of taking them on, but got him. That was good. And I'll get you, grab this pot. 
think we're yeah, just about good to clear out of here and continue with traversing the main part of the canopy. Wait a minute, there's a chest. Don't wanna miss out on that. So that is just 13 out of 14 chests. It's not even a secret. Even though it seemed like a very, you know, secret chest, I cannot fall down there. Good to know. Uh oh, oh, the big guy, he's back. Got it. So I could fight against the wind here, it's a little risky. But there's so much more to find. Oh gosh, you know, this is the time for lightning arrows. Look at how much stuff is around here. So much of it is hard to see. Come on, just a little bit more. Gotcha. And we get another chest for our troubles. A lot more enemies waiting for us there to so clear out this part of the canopy before we move forward. And that's level 79, was it? I think so, yeah, level 79. Very cool jump up. Almost at level 80. I don't think we'll quite get there in today's episode, but I'll certainly try. Getting some of the underwater enemies, huh? They're throwing tridents and stuff at us. And we have buttons to press, open the gate. Reach more of the orbs corruption. Gotcha. We're at two out of four with it. Some creepers waiting for me over here. But they're on the other side of the door, so I'm not so worried. Hi, Panda. Little Panda up there waving again. Another button. And the last one is right there. And now we can climb higher. Okay. Let's see right over here. I'll just toss the TNT. It either lands or it doesn't, you know what I mean? I should have thrown it this way though, because there's so many enemies, but we got rid of them pretty quickly with our glaive. Anything cool up here? Nope, but I missed out on some arrows. I almost fell. That would have stunk. See, I can start using my arrows a lot more often at this point. We have over 400 of them. Sometimes it's faster to use the glaive. It really just depends on how they're bunched at. Ooh, what's over here? Ah, look at this chest. Whoa. There it goes. We get ourselves another black spot armor. I don't think we've gotten ever two of the same unique in one run through of a level. That's crazy. So we'll have to compare and contrast which one's truly better, but a very awesome find there for sure. So happy about that. I'm losing some health, but I think we'll be okay. We're just focused on getting through this part. There's some buttons to press. There you go. Gets me another chest. And more enemies to deal with. Great. Got it. They give us a swiftness potion. So as long as there's not too many other things around. Looks like there might be. See, so there's a level exit here. So what was the other way? There's two level exits? Grab the glaive and go through this one. Okay. I think this is definitely the bonus one then. Looks like it to me, but we might wanna backtrack. One final climb. Oh yeah, what does this do? Ah, so I needed to do both of them. I need to go through here and press this button so that I can go through the other door and actually go through the gate. So we just hop right back down. Whoa, hey guys! Didn't know you were still all here. Oh, there's a lot of stuff actually. Definitely going to grab that. I want this potion so that we can be really sneaky, get a ton of arrows, and if, it, if we can find an enemy, we can strike them pretty hard. But it's almost about to end, ready? Boom, there it is, that was great. Okay, up this way then. Gotcha. Trying to run from us, but they're not quick enough. There's quite a lot of ways to go here. Open the temple door. I don't see it at the moment, but I just heard it, I think. Here we go, that looks like a temple door to me. So to do that, we need to uh, find some buttons, I'm guessing. Looks like there's something in that. Okay, we'll slice through you, press, it's not even really a button, it's more like a uh, lever or something. Gotcha. So there's probably one on the other side too. So let's get over there as soon as I can, gotcha. Oh wait, wait, let's grab that. Okay, so. Got it. I 
and right over here. Cool. So we're just supposed to enter the temple from the normal entrance we saw before. We should be good to go. I think we're coming up on the end of the level. I would think so, this one's been quite a long one. I can't get it from there, but over here, we can get in. Uh-oh. Uh, oh no. What are we gonna get? Defeat the temple defenders. Whoa! Look at these guys. They're pretty cool. Very armored up skeletons. Also got some of the normal enemies too. Saving these lightning arrows for precisely when I need them. So far, these guys, they definitely have some good range, but they're pretty easy to fight. The treetop whispers in three of them. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay, definitely back up here. Try to be careful. But that didn't even do a number on him, I think. Well, this isn't the guy. Oh, that's the, the guy. Okay, this thing is crazy. There we go, now we're fighting you a little bit more. You had all of your big guys defending you. So I couldn't really get to you. This is crazy, he's just sort of standing there now. Uh, all right, make the descent. We did it, look at all the rewards we get for that. That was amazing. Okay, so grab this stuff, and what do we have in this last one? Yet another whip. Okay, then we did it, and we found most of the stuff along the way, all the chests, four out of the eight of the secrets. Uh, but there we go, victory! Very cool level for sure. And there we go, treetop tangle has been completed. Over this way we will get a new enchantment, or whatever it's called, um, the Buzzy Nest, which I think we've had before. Be lovers and the beloved alike are fans of the Buzzy Nest, but don't be fooled by the QPs within. They pack a powerful sting. Very, very cool. And over this way, it looks like the blacksmith has finished up with something, the, um, one of these weapons. So, the auto crossbow. Very cool. So let's first off take a look at our brand new stuff that we got from exploring that level, which should just mostly be this one and this one. So the Black Spot Armor, one of these is level 63, the other 65. This decaying armor has unsettling presence, as if observing you. Whoa. So this one will reset artifact cooldown on potion use. Wow. And health potions heal nearby allies. That'd be good if we were playing multiplayer. And it can spawn food on potion use. So this one will keep you nice and healthy for sure. Um, so when it comes to these two sets, it really is just very tempting. This one has lifesteal and melee attack speed, but with this, you know, we could do something pretty crazy with it, like if I were to equip it right now. Let me get this one. You know, I could be fighting a bunch of guys. I'm using the lightning arrows, really lighten them up. The lightning arrows run out. Then I use my potion and then just use the lightning arrows again. That could be really high potential. And I'm sure there might be other artifacts we can combine with that to make it even better. So if that's something we wanna do, uh, we should definitely consider it. To do that though, I should compare. So we have things like the recycler being hit by damage inflicting projectiles will occasionally craft a small quiver of arrows. And we have the luck of the sea. Increases your luck, which boosts a chance that rare drops become unique. It does sound nice, but overall, I think I need stuff that'll make my current uniques better. We have chilling, emits a blast every two seconds or reduces the movement speed and attack speed of nearby enemies for one second. Gravity pulse, a blast that occurs every three seconds that pulls nearby enemies towards you. And protection, reduces damage taken. So lots of cool stuff like that. We can you know, consider improving these things, but the problem is I don't have enough gold bars to improve them even if I wanted to. So I'll definitely have to keep it in mind. Things like reckless are nice though. Your health is reduced by 40%, but your melee damage is increased. It really depends on what kind of player you are and if that's a good one or not. Multi-roll. Uh, Swift-footed, electrified, um, those can be nice, but I don't know, for right now, we'll just sort of think about it. Our current setup really isn't that bad. So, if you guys wanna see more, we could try to climb the tower again and do some other stuff. Try to, you know, earn some more progress through season three by um, getting more levels. Like, we got that costume right there. That's always nice, so we got the claw marks. Nice. Uh, but yeah, let me know if you guys wanna see more Minecraft dungeons and progress through some of the other existing content. Cause not only do we have the tower, but there's daily missions and things like that. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Minecraft Dungeons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.